five inch seam shorts. It's giving slut McMuffin. No. Hello, Salaikum. It's your girl Nadira P, and welcome back to another video. I hope you all have been well. Hope you are enjoying outside. I hope you are staying safe and still wearing your mask. Today we're going to hop right into it. So I was telling y'all, I've been telling y'all, we're outside. Point blank period. We are outside. Now, for those of us that may want to be outside, but not literally outside, okay? I'm going to do you all a favor. I'm going to pay us all a favor. And we're going to do another dating app. Now, I know before we've already done, uh, if you haven't watched it, we've already done Muzmatch. And then we did the app formerly known as Mender. I think they're called like Salam's app or something. But check those out. They're on my page. Um, but today, we're going to do an app that is not only for Muslimics. We're going to do an app that is not only Muslim-centered. And the app we're going to do today is Hinge. I've been hearing a lot about Hinge from black women because that is the number one source of information for everything if a black woman okays it it's okay if a black woman says no it's a no but i have never tried hinge so today we're going to try it so of course you guys know the way that we do it we try the dating app for seven days for a week but before we get into actually swiping on people i show you guys how to set up the app and everything and how that goes and then we try to see from there but yes let's get right into it so i already have the app downloaded on my phone we're gonna tap it um hinge designed to be deleted we love that so let's do create account of course they want the phone number right away send you a verification code we love safety okay we love safety what's next Welcome to Hands, the dating app designed to be deleted. Okay, so we do. I usually put in my whole last name, but let's just put P. Um, let me put my email. I like to continue with Apple. September 11th, 1996. Okay. Um, let's enable notifications. I usually hate getting notifications, but for the heck of it, let's enable notifications. Enter basic information. I usually don't like them to use my location because I'm like, show me everybody everywhere. Like, I already know I'm not interested in nobody that lives in my vicinity. So, let's bypass that. But whatever. My location. Woman. Men. How tall are you? I don't like this because it doesn't allow you to put exact measurements. Because though I have to put 5'4", I am 5'4 and a quarter. I'm not exactly 5'4". Ethnicity, black and African descent. Um, don't have children. Open to children. Hometown. Where do you work? Next, job title, content creator. Where'd you go to school? Not important. Highest level, undergrad, religious beliefs, Muslim. Political beliefs. Prefer not to say. Do you drink? No. Do you smoke? No. Do you smoke weed? No. Do you use drugs? That's what we need to know. That's that's what we need to know. Because some people would be like, no, I don't smoke weed. But I occasionally use methamphetamine. And though, okay, addicts deserve love too because addiction is not a choice. I don't particularly think I'm interested. Not necessarily my cup of tea. But, you know, whatever you want to do is what you want to do okay time to select some photos so anytime i do this I automatically go to favorites okay because we we gotta we gotta get the bangers okay we have some top-notch photographs here and bam bam what else what else okay let's do an eid photo bam Okay, this is a nice, nice header. What else? 
I like to do a funny one, so let's do that. Pair your photos with prompts. Okay, this is cute. This is cute. Pairing a photo with a prompt, that's cute. Biggest risk I've ever taken. Caption this photo. Dating me will look like, okay. And then that's a good prompt to pair with a funny photo. Okay, let's zoom in on that to make it cute. Oh, zoom didn't even work. Um, let's do another prompt. Mm. Get someone who looks at you like, oh, that's cute. Okay, we can do that one. Forget someone who looks at you like, that's cute. Let's do one more prompt. I don't want all of them to be prompts, but let's do one more. Okay, let's do I feel famous one. And then with that one, we can do the glam shot. Okay, write your profile answers. So we have to select another prompt. We'll get along if, okay, you like to laugh and have a good time. Okay, something classy, something, you know. You should leave a comment if you're one of the three black Muslim men left with no kids that doesn't drink nor smoke. A, a little bit of humor, but it's, it's, it's one of those things that's like, ha <laughs> I'm not kidding. The award I should be nominated for. Mm, I'm really attracted to best travel story. Let's debate this. My most irrational fear, I recently discovered that. My ideal date from home. Okay, that's cute. We eat together while on FaceTime. Watch a movie and talk. That's cute. Letting them know I'm a hopeless romantic. So if you're not, get out of here. Get away from me. Add vaccine status. No, thank you. Let's complete our profile. Um, let's do another picture. Let's do all six pictures. All right, let's, let's get them all out the way. Oh, this is so tedious. I'm choosing the best of the best. You're gonna see all my good sides. I wanna move this one to the first one you'll see. Okay, now let's do preferences because you already know I'm only interested in black Muslim men. I don't care what part of the diaspora you are from, as long as you identify, I'm not gonna say as long as you identify as a black man because it's some black men, it's some men out here that identify as black that are not actually black. But if you are a visibly black man, and you are a Muslim man, we can work out. But let's go down to member preferences. Um, age range 24 to the oldest I'll go is 45. Okay. Ethnicity, not open to all. Let's do black African descent. Religion, religion. If you watch my videos on the other apps, in order to set, of course, because I was doing Muslim apps, you didn't have to set a preference for Muslim. But in order to set a preference for black or African descent or whatever the wording they used was, you had to pay for that. On this app, I can set Muslim and right away, I can set it as a deal breaker and I have like the basic package. And that's all they'll show me. 647, let's do about 
three minutes of swiping. Actually, let me go back to the preferences and set my ethnicity as a deal breaker because I don't wanna see nothing else but my type. So we're gonna do about three minutes of swiping. And okay, he's up here in his drawers. No, got his thighs out. Why? No. You know what? I've seen all I've needed to see for today. Okay, we're gonna let some new choices marinate. We're gonna let the Lord do the work and we're gonna see what the app has to offer tomorrow. <laughs> Good night all. Day two of our Hinge Chronicles. And let me, listen, I don't know if everybody is just having a good day or if I'm really smoking hot. We don't have one, we don't have two, we don't have three. We have 13 likes. And it's day two, baby. It's day two, baby. It's day two, baby. Now, I will admit I've already gone through the likes. Ain't a single one I plan on liking back. <laughs> Ain't a single one I plan on liking back. Everybody is just missing that je ne sais quoi. I don't know. Like, they don't, they just don't have the spice. These are definitely, and not to say there's anything wrong with that, but these are all like newcomers. Like, just got here, fresh off the boaters, which is fine. Which is fine, that's completely fine. Everyone deserves love, but not my love. <laughs> not my love, and that's that's really tea. So let's let's go through each one, and let me tell you why it's a no. Okay, first one, he's 31, he's only 5'5". Five five. <laughs> Hell no. Second one, he looks familiar, he's 5'10", he's 38. No drinking, no smoking, no drugs, no weed. He lives in my exact same city. He spelled SLM like wrong. He put SLM Walkyom. You know what? Screw it. For the sake of it, we're gonna reply. Walkyom Salam. Bam. He actually looks quite familiar. I feel like I know him from the masjid. He's from New York City. Never has he ever eaten pork. He takes pride in his religion. He looks like Muhammad's cousin. The next one said, the only thing you should know about me is I don't double text. Listen. You're either gonna be on my body or we're just not gonna be anything at all. Decline. Um, this next one said, mashallah, you gorgeous. He's 40 years old, however, he is only 5'4". No. Uh, this next one actually looks quite familiar. Many pictures of him in a spa robe, pictures of him in a hotel. I'm a regular at my laundromat shower and like smell good. Hell no. Next one, no. He looks funny. I don't even know why they're showing my photographs to this white man. No. He has a like a little like pea body head and then this like big old body. That actually threw me off. Oh, this next one is cute. He dresses a little funny. 27, six feet from the Bronx. Okay, I don't like the Bronx. I'm not going to live in the Bronx. He said, the, the way to win me over is by respecting me. I'm looking for something serious and respectful. I want someone who respects. It, it's, his whole profile is respect, respect, respect. No. This next one, funny shaped head, no. That's everyone. We responded to one person. Uh, there is a, an, a feature on Hinge. There's a feature on Hinge where, I don't know what they're using to calculate it, but whatever their algorithm is doing, they have something called most compatible. So the next time that you get on the app, they are going to have the first person up there or the first group of people up there who they feel you are most compatible with. They feel I'm most compatible with this 30 year old man with a receding hairline and an Android. Why? Tell me why, Hinge. Let, let me know what me and this man have in common. Quickly, quickly, because I'm not seeing it. All right, y'all, that's all we're gonna do for tonight. We will be back tomorrow for day three of Dating App Chronicles. So we are back with day three of our Dating App Chronicles. And I can't particularly remember where we left off at. I um, have not been swiping since uh, the last time I spoke to you guys, but I had one conversation with someone that spoke to me first, 38 years old, from my local area, never married, no kids, very weird conversation. 
He gave me the salams. I returned the salams. He said hi. And then now he's trying to take me out. I don't know about that. But there was another young man who I responded to. His prompt was best travel story, seven days, five different countries. And I responded, I need to hear this story. He said, oh, it was crazy. I said, I bet, was that planned? He said, nah, not at all. And I said, sheesh. Thinking that he was just gonna let it die. He said, yeah, how are you beautiful? So, beautiful, that's me. So I'm gonna say, I'm well, how are you? Bam, it's kind of late. Now that I think about it, it's kind of late to be replying to messages. Um, but let's swipe a little. Just to remind you guys, I still have it set on black Muslims only. I don't wanna see nothing else. I don't wanna swipe on nothing else. I don't wanna be a part of nothing else. None of that. Okay, 32, 63, he's from East New York. Very attractive, very great choice of glasses. As a glasses wearer, when you also wear glasses, like I'm judging you. I feel like the frames that you pick say a lot about you. I don't know exactly what they say, but they say something. Okay, no. Oh God, he looks like somebody I know. Okay, no. The picture of him, this, this is what I never understand. Why are men in the gym no shirt on, which I feel like ew, is nasty because you're on equipment that other people have been on. No shirt on, but he has on a hat. Like, what's T, sis? Aw, he's adorable. Aw, he's a rapper. Max. Together we could change the world and go on 2 a.m. food runs. Is this Tumblr? Like, who says that? His religion is listed as christian muslim and spiritual i hate you niggas typical sunday sleeping till 11 going to get coffee and coming back to cook a southern breakfast i love breakfast me too then i'll probably bike for the rest of the day 31 senior package designer went to south carolina state he's from atlanta georgia he's only 5 7 doesn't drink doesn't smoke doesn't do drugs okay i'm gonna reply to his typical sunday i'm gonna say breakfast is extremely slept on What's your favorite things to have for breakfast? Bam. If you are not a Jamaican man, you should not be wearing leather pants. All of his pictures are with white friends. No, cannot be trusted. My love language is energy. What, what does that even mean? What does that even mean? What, what, I really wanna reply. I don't even wanna talk to this man, but I just wanna reply and be like, what do you mean by that? Oh, you're cute. Oh, of course. Is a drinker. Everybody drinks. I feel like that I miss the alcohol train because seems like I'm the only one that's not on it. Huh. You know what? That's enough swiping for the night. I will see y'all for day four. Day four of our Hinge Chronicles. Just to update you guys between what happened between day three and day four. There was one guy I was talking to on here, and he was like, hey, message me on Instagram. Wow, subhanAllah. He was like, hey, message me on Instagram. Um, I don't really be on here like that. Message him on Instagram, we had a great little conversation, and then he never replied. But he is a firefighter in New York, so, and it was like around 4th of July time, so maybe he was busy. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I have not spoken to him since. Another guy wanted to meet up, unmatch. There's another guy that sent me a rose. However, I do not like how he dresses. I do, I just, I'm not big on like, you need to have one designer or like all of that. But it's just very interesting, like the colors he mixes and all of that. 30. For where he lives, he has Wakanda. What? You will truly never know how bad dating out here is. You will truly never know. This man said he likes fried chicken with jelly and I am worried. I'm gonna respond to that because that's, that's crazy. I beg your pardon, boom. Oh, a picture of him in the military. We hate a terrorist. No, okay. He has the background of a restaurant I've been to before. Some of you like loved this restaurant. What did you think of the food? Because why not? We're shooting our shot this year. That's what we're doing this year. Ladies, if you don't already know, Hot Girl Summer, 
we are shooting our shot. It has been statistically proven time and time again that women that approach men first are having much more fulfilling and long lasting relationships because they're going after who they want. Don't let a man pick you. Because a lot of times the men that pick us are the men that we don't want. So pick him. I do not pick this one. And that is our night, ladies and gentlemen. And if you've been on Hinge or you are on Hinge, you've had luck on Hinge, I wanna hear your stories down below. So I'll see y'all tomorrow for day five. It is day five of our Hinge experience. And I'm happy to report, well, I don't know if it's something I should be happy about yet. I have received over 19 swipes, likes, messages. Of course, oh, I wish I could. I wish I could be the drama. I wish I could be the moment. And I wish I could show y'all that. But I cannot put people's information out there when they are on this app. So let's just go through them and see if there's anybody that I want to swipe right on as well. Okay, he responded to one of my prompts. This prompt says, you should leave a comment if you're one of the three black Muslim men left with no kids that doesn't drink nor smoke. He responded to that and said, yes, but I'm married though. <laughs> I'm gonna respond. Just to play devil's advocate, I'm gonna say, please say psych, LOL. I don't know, what do you say to a liked photo? Salam, thanks a lot. Okay, let's see what he does with that. This guy actually has a mohawk in 2021. So hell no. I'm weirdly attracted to feet. All right. He got right into it. He wasted absolutely no time. He's like, yeah, I have a fetish. What's up with it? All right, and that's the end of day five. We'll see if we get any replies tomorrow. We'll see what's popping off on the app tomorrow, but I'll see y'all then, bye. Hello, welcome back to our Hinge adventure. Woke up to two new messages. So one brother had liked my photo. I responded, Salam, thanks a lot. He responded, how are you doing? I said, Alhamdulillah, I'm well, and yourself. That was at 10.31 a.m. that I responded. Have not heard from him since, 10.26 p.m. One of my prompts says, you should leave a comment if, and I said, you're one of the three black Muslim men left with no kids that doesn't drink nor smoke. This brother responded, yes, but I'm married though. I'm thinking it's a joke, right? I said, please say psych, LOL. He responds, psych for what, LOL? Is that a bad thing? To which I respond that you're married and you're on a dating app? Question mark, question mark, question mark. So those are, those are the two responses that we got. I don't know if I said this before, but usually the men are very responsive. In comparison to like the other apps that I've tried, which if you haven't checked out those videos, you should. But yeah, extremely responsive. They wanna talk. They have this new feature where there's like a green circle and it's like lit up and it'll say like act, active today, active right now, so on and so forth. So let's do a little bit of swiping. The first one that pops up is somebody that actually lives in my neighborhood. He actually looks wildly familiar. Oh, I'm mad I cannot show y'all, but he has white people lips and that's just not my thing. Oh, he was kind of cute though. Damn, can I go back? He looks like T Grizzly. No. Braids in 2021, I don't know, just doesn't do it for me. It's just not my thing. As a man, why? This man has a beard, an all black beard, and he dyed a blonde strip right here. I'm all for creativity, but hell no. Oh my God. Streets is bare. Streets are bare, the streets are bare. This man has a picture of him at the gym on the treadmill in jeans. Do you know how absolutely unstable you have to be to wear denim on a treadmill? Men are not doing well. They're not, they're, they're, they're suffering. They're not doing well. Word of advice, if a man ever says to you, you know, I'm just looking for someone, you know, that can just go with the flow. Baby, he's prepared to put you through hell. He's prepared to have you struggling. Go with what flow? What unpredictable things, quote unquote? What unpredictable circumstances are you about to create and allow in our lives? 
Mm-mm. I'm looking for somebody who could just go with the, I can't. Mm-mm. No, ma'am. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. If you're fine enough, I give you a pass for having a picture with your tongue out. But if you're not, I don't like that. Now we're getting somewhere because these men are actually dunning. Like, oh my gosh. Should I say you're actually so beautiful? I'm gonna say you're stunning. We're, we're going all in. Okay, a barber. A lot of times barbers are cheaters. He has a son. This is a beautiful man. And he has a son. A son, a child, if y'all, and if the child is like copy and paste. If y'all could save me a baby father, that would be great. If I could just have my own, that would be amazing. Thanks. Found someone else. I'm really on a roll tonight. Like I'm really, I'm on fire. Just saying. Hello guys. So. We have made it to the finish line. We have just completed, or I have just completed, we have just completed, because we're, we're a community here. We've just completed a week of being on Hinge. So before I get into thoughts, reactions, so on and so forth, let me tell you guys where we are on the app right now. So I think I told you guys day six yesterday. I think I told you guys that I have been chatting back and forth with this guy for probably like two or three days. The last conversation we had is he was like, what you doing? And I feel like that's a question you only ask somebody when you have their number. Like, I don't feel like that's something you ask through an app. So it's like, are you going to ask me for my number or not? So he's like, what you doing? And I was like, oh, you know, getting ready for some friends to come over. And I was like, how about yourself? And he's like, I'm playing video games. And I was like, oh, what kind of videos and video games do you like to play? Um, and then I got off the app because I, like my guests had come over, I was doing things only to go back on the app the next day, ciao. And his messages were gone. Meaning like he either blocked me or like unmatched me, which was completely fine with me. And something that I personally have to stop doing is the moment that I see that I'm uninterested, I have to cut the conversation. Like I should have been unmatched him when I asked him, what does he do for fun? And he said, work out, go for runs, hookah and play video games hookah baby you're 30 w what is hookah doing for you okay whatever a man that doesn't mention spending time with family or friends a man that does not have friends is a super red flag for me like i don't want to be with anybody you don't even have to have like thousands or like tens of friends but you should have at least one at minimum one to three people that you can call if you're in trouble that you spend time with that you communicate with on a consistent basis you know what i mean so he unmatched me and i was like okay cool like it wasn't even anything i was upset about because i was like that nigga was boring but i'm like oh i should have unmatched him first that was my ego speaking also on day six i had commented on this guy's picture and i was like oh my god you're stunning and he invited me to start a chat so i'm like slam nice to meet you he was like like you Sam, nice to meet you too. How are you doing? I was like, I'm well, how are you? He's like, alhamdulillah, got back home not long ago. I didn't ask you what you were doing. So I was like, oh great, where are you from? He's like, I'm from Ghana and you. And I was like, I'm from the US, but my family is Haitian and African American. He said, oh, okay. I said, yep. What do you do for a living? No reply as of yet. And then the last conversation that I've had on the app yesterday as well this guy put for his prompt will get along if able to hold an actual conversation enjoys 90s hip-hop and r&b he said could name all members of the wu-tang clan and enjoying enjoy seinfeld and or curb your enthusiasm so i replied as a joke and said seinfeld brother please free yourself from the shackles of the white man's television he responded, young sister, I will argue you down. And it ain't no white man TV shackles over here. Those are just a few in my lineup, LOL. Any man that wants to argue with a woman, any man that proposes that he could argue with a woman, I'm automatically uninterested in. Like, get a life. Yeah, so then we had like two or three more banter and then I haven't heard from him since. Two people have since liked my picture. A guy named Mike from Philly, whatever, whatever, whatever looks much older than he is which means he let me see yep just as i thought drinks smokes cigarettes and weed um so no a guy named t he said if loving this is wrong i don't want to be right he says beer that is my current status on hinge so now to 
closing arguments, final thoughts, etc, etc. Number one, I will start by saying in comparison to the other apps that I've tried, there's a much higher response rate. Whether or not they're serious about actually finding someone on here, I see a lot of men that are like not looking for anything serious, just chilling, blah, 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 blah. So that's a bit different. Another thing, I love the fact that because this is not like a Muslim owned and run app, choosing the race and ethnicity as well as the religion feature chef's kiss and being able to do that without having any sort of premium membership i loved i loved it there were definitely a lot more black muslim men on here in comparison to the other apps that i tried i can also say that the number of swipes that you get a day i did not find that to be a problem it was not something that i ran out of quickly um as opposed to the other apps that i was on how else do i feel about hinge i think there were definitely a wide array of men on there even though i only had it on black men there were so many various types of black on there you had afro latina you had east african west african south african you had caribbeans and so on and so forth so it was definitely a wide array of black men on there there are a lot of attractive black men on there now the thing about so many black muslim men on there being drinkers and smokers. I guess that's just a societal thing. I don't know if drinkers and smokers are more prone to use Hinge. I'm not sure. Maybe they're only being honest on Hinge, but they're on Salam and they're on Muzmatch and they're lying. I don't know. But that was interesting. I love the like feature. I love being able to respond to people's prompts. I love the prompts that they have up there. I love the overlay of the app. The way I'm talking about this app, you would think it was sponsored, but I really just want to give you guys the tea. So yes, in conclusion, would I suggest Hinge to black women, to black Muslim women, to Muslim women, to women looking for a partner? I would say yes. I would say yes. I would suggest Hinge. It is user friendly. It is easy. There are some really great people on there. I cannot guarantee you success. I cannot say that you're going to find the love of your life. But I'm going to say if you're looking for another avenue, especially when you're not the most social person, when you're not outside like that in the middle of this global pandemic, I would highly suggest Hinge. So yeah, that's all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my insight and my commentary. Please let me know down in the comment section below what apps you have tried, if you have tried Hinge, and what apps you would like to see me try next because I'm still an unmarried woman, clearly. And I love giving you guys the tea. I love being able to go through this to make it easier for you guys. So let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. May God give us all the love and the care and the tenderness that we deserve in this life and in the next. I mean, I mean, I mean. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Assalamu alaikum.